How many times has this happened to you where you rent a DVD and you try to play it in your overhead DVD player and it's scratched and it will not play? Well, to me it happens a lot. I don't know if the player is not very good or the DVDs that I get are just all scratched. Either way, I was trying to figure out a way that I could play videos in here without having to use DVDs. Well, on most of these uh, DVD players, there's a set of inputs up here. That This is called composite when it's the red, white, and yellow. And the yellow is the video and the red and the white are the vi uh, audio. And so if you can have something that can play, that can plug into that, you can set the screen to play to auxiliary and it will show it. Well, I looked on Craigslist and I found a Zune. This was a uh, product that Microsoft made that is, competes with the iPod. This is actually no longer being made, but it's called the Zune. This edition that I found online is actually called the Halo 3 edition. But you can probably it will work with any of the Zunes. This is what a Zune looks like. It's in a little plastic case, but it essentially has the pad here in the middle and it has a uh, play pause and a back button and has a screen. When it turns on, you see it has like videos, pictures, and on here you can play, turn on videos and I got some videos here and you can play them. You can kind of see. It's playing some videos and uh, these are just some movies that I put on here. Now the cool thing is is that this is actually a 30 gig zoom and so it has a lot of space for movies. Come on, go back. There we go. Has a lot of space for movies. And so uh, this can, all the zooms have a video output up here built in that can output to uh, composite uh, inputs on a TV. Now to do it, you'll have to have a cable that looks like looks like this on one end, and this actually plugs into the Zune, and the other end looks like this. It has these three plugs, and when you have when you when you have this cable, you can plug this end into the Zune, these into the into the video input. I'll show you that. I have the cable plugged into the Zune, and these parts. Now, you have to plug them in a little differently because Microsoft had the genius idea that, hey, if we switch around the colors, people will have to buy a new special cable to make it work. No. Just make sure you take, oh, sorry, take the red one and plug it into the yellow. Take the white, plug it in the white, and the yellow actually plugs into the red. Now, why do they do that? Who knows? Like I said, I think it's just the money-making scheme that they came up with. And I believe some of the iPods do the same thing. Once those are plugged in, you can uh, turn on your Zune. And you have to go to the main menu. And go down to settings. And then you have to go to display, which is the second one here. It's not focusing real well. Display. And then down a couple says TV out. And you can't read it very well. TV out. And we'll switch that to on. Click it. Okay. So now it's outputting to the TV. And look at this. TV out. Display is on. So, and I can, con I still control it with the Zune itself. Push it up and down with the Zune. And it goes up and down on the screen. You can go back. And to get it to come, to get the screen back to this screen instead of on the DVD player, you click the play pause button, this one over here on the right, hold it down, one, two, three seconds, four seconds, maybe. There it is. About three or four seconds and it comes back over here and it comes uh, back down to the screen so you can mess with it. Oh, I thought you could flip it back to the uh, TV input, but apparently you can't. You have to come back in here, you go back to your settings, display, turn the TV, uh, turn the TV out back on, and it comes back up here. So once you have your Zoom connected here to your, and you actually see on the display, you can go back to the main setting here, go to videos, 
and you can play one of the videos resume yes great it's playing and the audio should be coming out of the speakers but I don't hear it let me see if it's turned up it's turned up where's the audio Yeah, give me a second. Well, sorry, technical error. I found out that that part of the video didn't actually have any audio. But, so when I actually got to the part where the audio actually was, you can hear it coming out. And also, on the zoom, while it, the video is outputting, you can push the top of the pad, and it turns the volume up, and you push down, and it turns the volume down. So you can, uh, so you can hear the audio coming in and coming out. So, now the cool thing is, once you have this plane, you can actually take all these videos with you in your van and uh, have them with you ready to play instead of having to take your DVD player, which is going to be very, very nice. Hey, so now with the movie playing and the zoom here outputting the video, I'm going to open this and this is a place for sunglasses, which the zoom conveniently fits in it's in there and you can push all the cord up in here and have some place to actually store the zoom while it's playing. I get all this stuff shoved in here. There we go. And there we go. Now the zoom is up there in the sunglasses holder. The <laughs> extra cable sticking out. But the cable comes out here, plugs into the audio inputs and the movie's playing. When the movie's over, the kids decide they want a different one. Instead of getting the DVDs out, you can pull this out, turn the turn the video back on, hold down the play pause. Hold on, I think you can do it. Play pause. Yeah, the play pause turns the video back onto the screen. Come down here, select videos, pick a new video, and you're ready to go. The key is getting a uh, MP3 player or a video player like the Zoom or particular iPods work too. Some of the iPod video, iPod videos or iPod classics can do it, but it's always kind of sketchy whether or not you're actually going to pick up the right one. But all the Zooms have this feature where they output video through the headset jack. And to do it, you just have to have a headset jack that looks like it has uh, the three markings on it. One is the, the three markings on the plug. And then you have to have the component, the composite connections up here. And remember the zoom, you plug the red into the yellow and then the yellow into the red because Microsoft wanted to make some extra bucks. Thank you, Microsoft, and but thank you for actually letting it work. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe. I try to make a lot of various videos that uh, are useful to a lot of people. Thanks.